Hi scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back in horse riding teals and um, I'm going to use my gems that I've saved up from daily login in order to train Ruby up a little bit. We want to try and get her to level 50 so that we can go ahead and do the pet main story quest in order to try and unlock North uh, because we need her to reach level 50 to unlock the next chapter of that. Now, I had asked you guys on my community post what your dream update in horse riding teals would be and why and so many of you guys responded, thank you so much really great ideas there. I'm not going to get to the talk about all of them, unfortunately, but I'm going to talk about as many as I possibly can. Um, so the first one was from Anna, and she said, my dream update is so you can jump without VIP, you can get 50 gems every day for your login rewards, and you can make a room and let all your friends in it, because you only allow 12 friends in each room, and I have 100 friends, and I want to see them all in the same room. So I think it would be really awesome, especially to have larger rooms if you wanted, because sometimes, like when I've done the live streams in the past, and you only have 12 people in a room at a time, um, it's a little bit limiting. I would like the option to be able to create a larger room, hopefully not at the expense of everybody's performance in the game, like I wouldn't want it to create really bad lag or anything like that, um, but hopefully it wouldn't cause too many issues. Uh, we've got Ruby very very close there to level 50, but we're a wee bit short on that, we'll just have to do some more pet stuff with her. But yeah, I would really like that. It would also be really nice to be able to jump. Um, I don't think we'd get 50 gems a day, but it would be nice. I don't think it would. Uh, anybody would say no to that. <laughs> Okay, so I've got some more gems from Dilly Loggins, and we should be able to train Ruby up to level 50 now. Um, so there is another comment. This one is from Michaelia. I hope I'm saying your name right. I apologize if I got it wrong. So a breeding stable where you were able to breed and make a different breed. I think it would be really cool if there was some kind of breeding feature in the game. Like, even if it was just a feature story, like a higher level quest, where let's say um, we find a foal and we have to raise it. Even just something like that. I think that would be really, really cute. Um, I don't know exactly how it would be implemented. Um, maybe something like what we have in Horsehaven World Adventures. Maybe something like that, where if you have two fantasy horses, you breed them together, you could maybe get a new fantasy horse. That would be like a really awesome quest. Especially if we had to then raise the foal and everything. That would be really, really neat. And Ruby has leveled up to level 50. Awesome. Right. Let's see. Now that she's level 50, we should be able to do this part of the quest. Okay, so confrontation. Returning your pets finds Sam already up with his bag of tools in hand. Giving a quick nod of thanks, he dives headfirst into the tunnels. Your pets don't hesitate in following after him. These tunnels seem different from the others. As thick, twisted roots weave all around the passages, at first frustrated by them, Sam and your pets eventually discover that they are rather useful. The longer, thicker ones form walkways for them to cross over dark, deep canyons. The light from inside is too faint as your pets are forced to rely on their keen eyesight to help navigate their way into the dark. Forced to stop, Sam remembers the torch he kept in his satchel. To his surprise, Margaret also packed with generous amounts of food supplies. Turning on the torch, they are surrounded by a mesmerizing pink glow as the light bounces off the trees and around them. As much as they would hate to admit it, the surrounding forest is rather beautiful. Looking down, they notice that the clammy wet soil has transitioned to the lush green carpet of grass. Scratching his head in confusion, Sam is left puzzled and amazed at all his life beneath the surface. Deeply wanting to linger in surroundings, he is quickened by the thought of Norse peril up ahead. The floor soon completely gives way. As the party find their way along a bridge, formed from twisted roots, there is a strange fog hanging in the air, as they cross a bed of poisonous looking mushrooms in the valley below. One of the pets begin to lose their footing, and had it not been for all their training, they would have fallen in. One by one they all start to begin become drowsy and begin to stumble into one another. Sam is sure he can see a large white horse standing on the opposite side of the valley. It appears to be beckoning them across. Holding close to one another, they make it along the winding walkway. The drowsiness seems to lift as the seed slowly steps back out of sight. A cool stream can be seen running a massive ri a cool stream can be seen running around a massive red oak, deeply rooted in the middle. Smaller spiders scurrying away from the torchlight as they approach. The party traverse through a dense uh, cluster of slimy eggs standing in between them and the giant oak. It's then that they notice a giant white spider, with its head buried between uh, deep within the heart of the tree, draining it of sap. Digging in his bag, Sam pulls out a strange-looking flute. Slowly and carefully, he puts his lips to it and begins to play, but no sound seems to come from it. Your pets, however, instinctively recognize the melody as the Song of the Phoenix. Forgotten by most, this melody uh, still rings in the hearts of many wild creatures. They are not the only ones that can hear the melody, though, for on the rock above them is perched the pale spider, staring down at them. Sam begins to step back as the spider slowly edges towards him. In a flash, the spider pounces, forcing Sam to roll between his legs, dropping the flute. Standing up, he sees North all wrapped up in a bundle up ahead. He is strung up in the big old oak, like a uh, bag of grapes. Making a dash for it, Sam realizes the distance is too much for him to cover, expecting the spider to grab him from behind. 
at any moment. He feels a tremendous gust of wind soup past the back of his head. Not even turning around, Sam smiles to himself as he hears the phoenix call echo high above the caves. Your pets marvel at the kaleidoscope of colours drawn fr through the air, as the majestic bird soars off with the, uh, the giant spider in its claws. Freeing, after freeing Norse, Sam sees his horse jump up and shake off the cobwebs as if to regain his dignity. Then, to everyone's surprise, trots ahead deeper into the tunnels. He must want to show them something. Sam looks concerned as the supplies won't last them if they are to go further. However, the path back is too treacherous and long for Sam to turn back now. The only way left is to keep going forward. Your pets, however, come across one some smaller tunnels that lead back to the surface. Once home, they can grab some much-needed goods and return to Sam with the supplies. Popping their head out for a quick goodbye, they slip up and out of sight. Will your pets make it back safely and be able to rediscover their friends in time? So we need to take the supplies to Sam. Okay, let's start this mission then. Right, okay, so we've got condition path blocked, hazard, thunderstorm, and threat predator appears. I don't think I have any pet that works on condition um, path blocked. Uh, Ruby should work on thunderstorm. Finn, I think, should work on predator appears. Yeah, so Finn works for that one. Right, so we've got two there that will cancel out two of those. What about knights? Right, well, it's not increased our chances any more than that. I am going to go ahead and watch the advert, though, because that's going to give us plus seven on this. Galaxy improves our chances a bit more, so actually Galaxy probably is a better pick. Right, well, we'll watch the advert and we'll come back. Right, now that I've watched the advert, we can go ahead and start this mission. Okay, so how long is this going to take us today? So this is going to probably be quite a long one. Okay, so 24 hours. We're going to have to wait a full day. Okay, let's see if our pets manage to do this. Come on, guys. Did you manage? You did! Yay! Okay, brilliant. So now we can get a bit further. We got three black pearls from that, so that's that's brilliant. Okay, good. So let's see. What's our next one? Let's check the requirements of this. So for further analysis. So we need a pet at level 70. I was expecting one at 60, so we need one at 70 and another two at 20. I know that we have already two at 20. We're going to have to work on Ruby to get her to level 70. Okay, so we still have to defeat Jen in the level 31 one-on-one -on -one horse show. I have one more of these competitions to do before we can either, I guess, progress or um, maybe we'll have to do some dressage and then maybe some flying competitions as well. I'm probably expecting that, um, I would say. All right, we have 85 fences to jump, so we'll get started with that. Okay, so there's our last fence to jump. I would say we've, we've got what we need for this one, so that should finish um, this set of competitions for us easily enough. Okay, so we've got two star, and now we've got a new quest, Challenge One on One Dressage Accepted. Looks like we definitely are going to have to do more of this. Yeah, so defeat Jen in the dressage. Probably then going to have to defeat her, I would say, in the flying competitions. I think these two level 30 competitions are the last dressage and jumping competitions that I can see that I can do. I think. I'm not like 100% sure, but I think they seem to be. Let's have a quick look here. Yeah, for here, they're the last dressage competition that shows up for me. So I think that it'll just be the flying ones after that. So I'm going to read out some more of your dream updates. So this one was from Angel. To get first person, be able to jump without VIP and be able to trade pets with black pearls and sell horses to each other. I think first person would be really cool because um, if you were like to bring your horse out of the stable, dismount your horse and then use your character as like first person to like look at your horse and take a picture of your horse, that would be really nice because we don't have like any kind of way of taking pictures without the interface. Um, so I think that would be quite neat. Um, I think everybody wants to be able to jump without VIP. Uh, be able to trade pets. I actually really like this idea. Like, say you trained a pet um, up to, I don't know, a certain level, let's say 20, level 20, and then you could sell it on a marketplace for black pearls. Because it would mean, like, for some people who want to sit and train pets, um, that, you know, using their gold and stuff to earn black pearls, it would be a really neat way, actually, I think, of doing that. I think that's a really cool idea. Um, to be able to sell horses. I don't know how the selling horses aspect would work so much in the game whether it would be for black pearls or whether it would also be for gold, but it's an interesting thought. So Serena said, my dream update is to get gems a different way than buying them, from getting first, second or third in cross-country races and getting them from daily logins as rewards. 
Um, I hope you feel better. Thank you. Um, I think that there are, like, uh, right now we've got the way that when you log in um, on your 7th and 14th day, you get some gems, and you can also get gems from doing your daily chores if you do all of them. Um, I think possibly in, like, I would say, like, the higher level competitions that you do later on in the game, I think it would be nice if you get three stars or you manage to complete all the competitions. You know the way we, like, when we um, get a certain competition to do and there's five types I think it'd be brilliant if like you got gold um, three gold stars in every single competition that maybe you got like five gems or something um, for completing it I think that would be really nice um, because I think it would just open up and make competitions even more attractive to go back and like do them again because you still have to you know spend the time mining get the resources make your horses happy and so forth and um, it takes a lot of time and effort so I think it'd be a nice little like a, like a wee small reward really I think it would be a nice thing to say. So Cheesy said, more horse braids like ponies, clad tails rather than tons of red colours. Western, bows for horses, more hairstyles like, oh my god, ponytails, buns, etc. because the hair now is crusty. <laughs> um, I actually really like our current hairstyle, but I do agree it would be nice to have more colours um, and different types of styles. Um, I love the fact that in our current style we've got like loads of different colours options. I really appreciate that because I don't like when you have a game that's got like three options in the same style. Um, so yeah, definitely for more actual different hairstyles, whether it be shorter hairstyles, longer hairstyles, um, things like, you know, updos as you said, like buns and ponytails, I think those would be really nice. I'm not bothered about bows personally, but I know for some people, people would love to have like little accessories for their horses, which would be cute. Uh, Western, I know that we're getting that Western tack soon, so maybe we'll get some competitions. I don't know uh, if, if Cheesy meant like Western tack or competitions, but I think we're getting the tack. Maybe in future we'll get some competitions, would be nice. Um, and then more horse breeds. I'm trying to think like what horse breed would I really like? And I think I'd really love to see like um, an Andalusian or something like a Lusitano, those beautiful, like really gorgeous horses that do dressage. I think something like that would be really, really nice. So yeah, some really good suggestions there. So Doggy Lover said, my dream update is to be able to rescue one pet and keep it. And then there could be halters and lead ropes that you can trade pets and then you can sell horses uh, to each other. I think it'd be really nice if they did a story element where you rescued a pet. Um, I think that actually would be a really good quest idea, for sure. Um, and then to be able to have halters and lead ropes, that would be really nice. And as a kind of earlier, like what I was saying about trading pets, like a, some kind of dynamic like that where you could train up a pet and then sell it, I think that would be really cool because for people who like love training pets, it'd be a great way to like earn black pearls. And then for somebody that maybe doesn't really want to spend the time to tr like train one, it'd be a nice way that they can get one without having to do it. So Horse Lover said, my dream update is you can sell pets and earn black pearls and Halloween World in the month of October. So we've kind of mentioned pets and earning black pearls before, but Halloween World in the month of October, yes, cannot say this enough. I would love if they do a Halloween themed thing, kind of like what they did with Christmas. Like making it spooky, putting like lantern, like, you know, jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. Yes, I highly agree. I'd love that. I think that would be super fun. So Oreo said, being able to jump with a VIP and have uh, flying lead changes. That would be kind of nice, especially in the dressage. Um, I know that jumping without VIP is a highly regressed in one. So then Furry said, be able to jump without VIP and have Western Tack and Barrel Race. And why? Because I love Western real life and so I'd love that update. Yeah, I think it'd be really nice if we got some like Western type competitions, definitely, because there's a, like a lot of possibilities there, a lot of things that they could do. And um, yeah, I'd like to see that definitely for sure. So Zoe said, my dream update is that you can have more than 100 friends, more than 12 people in rooms and get gems every day and let the cross country traits fall away. I think like for the gems every day, even if we could, like, kind of what, like, Horse Haven does is, like, gives, um, if you log in every single day for a really long period of time, you get, like, maybe three or four, or maybe one or two, um, diamonds, so it kind of in the same sense, maybe get gems that way, it'd be nice if, like, there was, like, wee small amounts, um, just to kind of help, like, not, like, I know that, like, you know, it's a company, it has to make money, so, like, I wouldn't be expecting anything massive, but even if it was just, like, one or two, you know, here or there, uh, it'd be kind of nice. And I know that we kind of talked about like having be, you know to have more friends and bigger rooms as long as it wouldn't impact on like the performance of the game and you know things like that. That would be quite cool. I think the cross country traits actually is kind of an interesting point because I I don't know about you guys but I always find my horses well clamp 
mainly I because you know God like I mainly race clam. Clam's like my main horse. Um, clam never seems to match up with the traits, but I don't mind it too much because it kind of adds an interesting dynamic, I guess. Um, but it's an interesting point. I think that that was quite an interesting one. I wonder if any of the other guys uh, feel how you feel about the cross country traits. So Sophie said, mine is to have a head collar and lead ropes and then we have a jumping arena that we can go into all the time. Love your vids. Thank you. Um, I think head collars and lead ropes, definitely. That would be really nice if we could like lead our horses around and just um, have fun and, and so forth. I think that would be a really, really nice one. And um, I think having a, like a little area, like a jumping arena or something, kind of like that you could go in and just kind of enjoy it with your friends would be quite nice actually to just be able to go in and have fun that you don't necessarily have to go in and do the competitions because I think like when you're doing the quests you know you have a set course and so forth if we could actually design our own little small courses that we could go and do with our friends and invite them in to actually take part in jumping around it that would be quite nice actually to just be able to do it for fun so I think that would be a really cool one. So Princess said, my dream update is to roam the entire island, more land to explore and be able to walk inside the forest and be fun to encounter dangers where our pets can save us. This is actually a really interesting dynamic because imagine like you went into the forest and there's a dragon and you can choose to run away or you can choose to get your pets to help um, fight against it or something like that. That would be quite interesting and I do think it would be nice to have some more areas. I know that we're probably in future getting that island update that they've talked about on Instagram. Maybe they could do something like with that. Because I think it'd be really cool if you could go around and encounter things. And it would be another way that they could actually make a way that you could train your pets. So let's say um, if you run away then okay you're not going to get any XP for your pets. But if you um, stay and fight or you know as you said sort of try and get uh, your pets to save you from this danger. It would be quite interesting. I think that that's, that's an interesting one and definitely having more areas to explore would be really really cool. So Pepto said, I would really like to see player customizable tack, Arabian tack, racing tack, western tack, and more blankets that could uh, make with your favorite colors and patterns as well as some more of the untamable horses to be tameable, and definitely different horse breeds. I would like the silver Octiki, which looks like a blue roan to me, to look uh, like an Octiki, not a Mustang. So I think that there's actually some really cool things here because like whenever I made the pink fantasy scent, as you guys know, I'm not a massive fan of pink, but it's the stats on that that are important to me. I'm like, this has the best stats, so this is the tack that I'm going to be like focusing on. It would be really nice, actually, if you could have like, a little customized shop that you could go in and say, let's play, it, pay a few gems or pay a few black uh, pearls to actually change the color of the items and customize them your own way. I think that would be a really awesome idea. Um, definitely think it would be nice. I, I imagine at some point there'll be some more horses that'll be tameable that maybe aren't tameable at the moment. Um, but yeah, I think like a lot of different horse breeds I can see coming and being added in the future, and hopefully they'll some of them all be closer to the breeds themselves. I mean, obviously, I am, this is a fantasy game to a degree when I look at it, so like I'm not too worried, I guess, sometimes. But yeah, definitely to have some more variety. As I've said before, I think there are actually definitely um, improvements in some of the colors that we've seen. Um, like some of the more recent coats, I think, have been quite nice, actually. Um, like if you look at some of the older patterns and so forth, there's definitely an improvement there. So I think like in the future, we're probably going to see maybe some uh, more realistic coloring and so forth. Um, I mean, there are certain ones that I like the fact that it's fantasy and it doesn't necessarily look realistic. Like I love Clem and Clem doesn't look realistic at all, but you know, she's one of my favorites. So yeah, I think there's some really good ideas there. So Doga said, my dream update, maybe you could add some quests, not like racing and more space in the map because there's so little, and jumping without VAP could be a little bit better. I love your game and play almost every time. By the way, I want to say something about the Black Pearls, we cannot get them easily, maybe you should make it easier to earn, and I'm sure that their update adds your games would be wonderful. So, like, I definitely want to see some more quests where you do things other than racing or mining resources, like, maybe you could have a task where you have to go out and you have to find items that are scattered throughout the map, and it's not necessarily resources, you don't have to mine them, or maybe you have to do little tasks to um, unlock things, so let's say you could find, you had to go and find some special tree or something like that, and then when you find the tree you get a clue to find something else, that would actually be really, really nice dynamic, um, be interesting to see if they would do something like that. A lot of people want jumping without VIP. I don't know if it'll happen, but it's a highly aggressive one. So Lola said, my dream update is a glowing update where you can make your horse glow and all your tack glow. I know I love you, TC. Oh, thank you. Um, I think that's a really neat one. I would love if my horse would glow. Like, it would be neat. 
like if you get effects and things for your horse that you can make your horse glow or maybe have a spooky effect around your horse. I like that idea. Yeah, I, I approve this. So definitely that would be a cool one. So Madison said, my dream update would be doing the stuff VIPs can do. Uh, whether you level up, you get a random number of gems every week. Depending on your level, you get extra teaming orbs and new horses in the Christmas update to be tameable. I think it would definitely be nice if, like, whenever you get to a new level, you get a few gems. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, I think. Because, like, obviously, it's a game that, you know, that it's a developing company that needs money to, like, provide the game to us because it costs money to run a game. It costs money to pay people and things like that. So like I wouldn't want to see anything crazy but I would definitely want to see like maybe a few gems, maybe five gems for leveling up. Two here for getting all of the you know three star in a certain competition. I think stuff like that would be really nice just like as a little tiny thing to sort of help because I definitely find that like daily login gems definitely help because I've been using them to level up uh, Ruby. And she's like my main pet right now. You know, the other ones I'm leveling up more slowly. Just little things that kind of help you progress a teeny bit. It doesn't have to be a lot because obviously it's a business and it has to make money. So Kawaii said, an entire Western update where the ad barrels and Western tack to buy saddles and saddle pads. Yeah, I think it would be definitely nice if we could have some Western updates um, and have competitions and so forth. I know that we're definitely getting some ta Western tax soon. They've shared that on Instagram. Hopefully we won't have too long to wait for that. But yeah, some Western competitions would be really nice, I think. So Layla said, my dream update would be to have more horses out of your stable when, than one at a time and also be able to catch baby horses and raise them up with apples. I'd love also to have more accessories for characters like necklaces. I guess I'll be your videos. So thank you. Um, I think it would be nice, definitely, to be able to, like, I don't know, for anybody that plays Alicia online, basically you can whistle and your horses will follow you. So I think it'd be neat if you could, like, take another horse out with you and whistle and have them follow you around. It would be kind of fun. And um, maybe they could add some kind of dynamic in it. Is like, if you bring another horse with you, you can maybe mine a little bit extra resources, maybe, like, plus two every time that you're a minor resource on top of that. Something like that, so that it has, a, like, an, an extra purpose outside of, like, just having your horse follow you. Um, because I know right now we do have that following mechanic where we can get our main horse to follow us whenever we're walking. So maybe we could have it that whenever we're riding, we can have another horse follow us. Stuff like that could be fun. And definitely, like, being able to, like, raise a baby horse up would be neat. I especially would love it if they do it as a quest. I think it would be kind of nice to have it like that. And um, more accessories would be neat too. We've definitely had a lot of um, accessories added. But yeah, necklaces and stuff would be nice to see as well. So those were some of your update suggestions. You guys left me loads of comments. Thank you so much. There was loads of interesting update ideas there. Um, I know I didn't get to read them all out, but I did read through all of them. Um, I did pick them at random. Um, I know that there were some of them, people were sort of saying like, you know, jumping without VIP, more gems, um, halters, you know, things like that. Uh, breeding horses, for example, those were really, really popular ones. So I tried to pick um, some ones that were discussing other things as well. But thank you guys so much for sending in the suggestions and hopefully we can maybe do another video like this in the near future. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. It was nice to read through your suggestions and things. Um, Clem has leveled up to level 220, so pretty happy there. Um, that dressage went terribly. My game kept lagging. My Wi-Fi is having a bit of a freak out. We've got a storm here at the minute. But anyways, Rubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you said a lovely day. Bye!